Today we're learning the basic lip roll. If this video helps you learn to roll like this, like, comment, subscribe, and someone share it with Hiss's translator since I've heard he still can't lip roll. If you already know how to lip roll but not very comfortably, this video can help you clean things up a lot, so I hope you'll still watch it. My approach may seem unconventional at first, but it should be much more effective than just bro make a frowning face and suck air in. Step 1. Learn how to do a sucking kick from the side of your mouth. So how do you do a sucking kick? Step 1a. Press your lips together tightly like this. Step 1b. Pull your tongue backwards in your mouth without letting air in to build up pressure in one corner of your mouth without inhaling. Step 1c. Then from this position, try to open your mouth quickly on only the side you're trying to get the kick while still pulling back with your tongue. If you build up too much pressure or open your whole mouth instead of just one side, you'll get a variation of the tennis ball pop which is not what we want. Try reducing the pressure and making sure you're only opening one side. I sometimes call the sucking kick inward kick, but I'm technically wrong since as I mentioned in step 1b, the sound doesn't require breathing inwards. To exemplify this, I'll show you can hum without interruption while doing inward kicks. <laughs> step 2. Do a very slow side sucking kick. It helps to gradually ease into it. Step 3. Slowly stretch out the side sucking kick while focusing on loosening your lips to get the fart-like buzzing vibration to become more and more bubbly to get the basic lip roll. This step takes the most amount of grinding to find the right lip, tongue, and jaw positions since what works for everyone can be slightly different. That being said, here are a few high-level suggestions to help guide your search. First, instead of pulling your tongue straight back, try arching your tongue so the curve is concave down. Second, try combining step 1b and the slowed step 1c. Start slowly opening your mouth on one side as you pull your tongue back instead of first pulling your tongue back then opening your mouth on one side. It also helps to start the pull with your tongue biased towards the side of the mouth you plan to open. And third, try frowning down the side of the mouth you plan to open to varying degrees when pressing your lips together in step 1a. Remember, these are just suggestions to influence how you make adjustments while finding the right position. It's better to slowly make incremental progress, moving towards positions that give a bubblier sound and away from ones that sound more like a fart, than just randomly applying the suggestions hoping you'll magically stumble into the lip roll and getting frustrated when you've made no progress after hours of rolling the dice. Some people find it immediately and others can take months. For me, it took a few days after I understood what was going on. If you get stuck sounding like this for a long time, don't stress and go at your own pace. Until you get the basic lip roll, I don't recommend proceeding. Step 4. Inhale while doing a lip roll to get an inwards lip roll. <laughs> Step 5. Make your tongue convex instead of concave and pull just the back part of your tongue down to get the hollow lip roll. <laughs> Step 6. Inhale while doing a hollow lip roll to get an inwards hollow lip roll. <laughs> Step 7. Tighten your lips while doing an inwards lip roll or inwards hollow lip roll to get an inward lip sub bass. Step 8. Quickly block and unblock the inward lip sub bass airflow hole with your tongue to stutter the inward lip sub bass. Step 9. Combine the inward lip roll with the slizzer roll to get a slimy sounding lip roll. Step 10. Realize as long as your lips are in the right position, you can get lip rolls and oscillations just by pushing or pulling your tongue back and forth. <laughs> Step 11. Realize tongue convexity and pull or push point controls hollowness and combine it with the previous step. Step 12. Incorporate inhaling lip rolls with the previous step. Step 13. Whistle while doing an inward lip roll.
All right, I went a little crazy at the end there. If you're whatever about lip rolls, I recommend stopping at step four. If you kind of like lip rolls, I recommend trying steps five and six. If you definitely like lip rolls, I recommend trying steps seven through nine. If you love lip rolls, I recommend trying steps 10 through 12. And if you like whistles, I recommend step 13. I'm definitely missing several variations like codfish's punchy lip roll, napalm's blaze it up lip roll, this sort of inward zipper lip roll, and Mr. Wobble's teeth lip roll, but hopefully you get the point and this tutorial has helped you learn to lip roll. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.